Hi, I am Alexis. I am in Chem 213 this semester, and this is my presentation on the Mukayama aldol addition reaction. So, this reaction was discovered in 1973 by Teruaki Mukayama, and it is an addition reaction, which means it is a carbon carbon bond formation, and the reactants in this case are silicone enolates. Um, which can either be a silyl enol ether derived from ketone, or it can be a ketene silyl acetyl, which is derived from an ester. And this is reacted with an aldehyde in the presence of a Lewis acid to create an aldol atom, which is a hydroxy ketone or an aldehyde. What makes this reaction significant in organic chemistry is that it can proceed under acidic conditions, yet still avoid the competitive side pathways that usually occur in these acidic conditions, such as dehydration, dimerization, polymerization, and self-condensation. Another exciting thing about this reaction is since 1973, there has been a lot of work into progressing this reaction, and there are a lot of ways to get specific stereochemistry that is needed for the products desired. So for the mechanism of our reaction, as promised, we have our aldehyde, which is an oxygen double bonded to a central carbon with an R group and a hydrogen. Um, and this is mixed with our Lewis acid, which in this case is TiCl4, and I've already gone ahead and separated the Cl and Cl3 from each other. Um, so all that happens in this step is the lone pair on the oxygen takes the positive charge from the TiCl3. And yeah. So now moving on to the next step of this mechanism. Um, as you can see, this one looks a little bit more complicated. As before, we do have our aldehyde bonded with our Lewis acid um, that we did in the previous step, and now the oxygen has a positive charge. Um, and yeah, same molecule as before. This here, we have our silicone enolate, and it is oxygen bonded to a silicone molecule, a central carbon with a double bond to another carbon, and a single bond to an R group. And then here is just the fluorine ion that we dissociated from the TiCl4 in the previous step. So what happens in this part of the mechanism is the double bond goes up to the positive charge in the oxygen, like resonance, and then the carbon bond, the double carbon bond in between carbons 3 and 4, um, goes and hits carbon 2. So that's our addition step where we see a carbon-carbon bond formation. And the bond between oxygen and silicone goes and makes a double bond with the oxygen and carbon-4. And the chlorine ion from the previous step that we created takes the silicone molecule and forms a new molecule. And that is it for this step. And then moving on, we have our chlorine silicone molecule with some carbon and hydrogen in there as well. And that is just a spectator molecule at this point, doesn't matter to the rest of the reaction. Um, and then as you can see here, we have what was our silicone enolate and our aldehyde in the previous step of the mechanism. Um, you can see that the carbons, one, two, three, four, five, five carbons now. And so what happens in this step is the bond between oxygen and the Lewis acid breaks. And yeah, that is all that happens in this step. Uh, what was our silicone enolate and our aldehyde are now together at carbon-3. And then moving on over here. We have, well, this is basically our workup step. So once again, same molecule as before, one, two, three, four, five carbons, double bond to the one oxygen, single bond to the other oxygen, but it does still have a negative charge. Um, so resonance could happen here, but in this case, what happens is 
the negative charge on the oxygen attacks the positive charge from the hydrogen. And then the TiCl3 is just left over from the previous step. Not important to this part of the mechanism. And yeah, so that is our work up step. And what we end up with is this fancy molecule right here. Um, one, two, three, four, five carbons, double bond to the oxygen, single bond to the OH group. And this is actually a race racemic mixture. Um, so yeah, you get a pair of enantiomers with this reaction. So um, why is this reaction important? Um, Pelluricide A is a molecule that was originally found in a marine sponge isolated from New Zealand. And it is a molecule that inhibits cancer growth. And so it has been used in an array of cancer treatments um, since its discovery. Um, the mukayama aldo reaction allows us to um, be stereoselective with the molecules we produce, which is very important when creating this molecule in a laboratory setting. Um, because the molecule only has its cancer treating function with certain stereochemistry. Um, and treating cancer is a very significant part of our society. I'm sure we all know somebody who has either had cancer or it has affected us in some way. So that is what makes this reaction so important. And here are the references that I used while doing my research. And yeah, that is all. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you for such a great semester.